Hey guys, welcome back. Matt here. So today I kind of wanted to talk about like storage of your uh, chainsaw chains, like these. So anyone who knows or follows along to the channel, I do, I own a tree service, do firewood, boiler stuff, all that kind of things. But um, so like when I'm on a tree job and you're doing a lot of cutting, a lot of cutting, I'll usually keep that chain on that on that chainsaw and I'll just sharpen it through the time but occasionally you'll, you'll hit something and instead of trying to sharpen it and mess around with the chain I'll usually take it off and and, and so on and put on a new one but so I always have this that, you know it carries all my chains uh, tools that I may need on the site my sharpeners you know my hatchets you know I put my my wedges in there that I use for tree felling and so on. So, but usually, you know, I always run the steel chains, you know, so they'll come in these boxes, as everybody knows. So when I'm on a job site, you know, you got these boxes, you take the chains out, and now you got all this garbage, right? So what do you do with that? You throw it right in the trash, right? So what do you do with the, the chains? So like, so like this one, obviously I took it off for a reason, couldn't tell you what. I'm assuming it's because I hit something or it got too dull and I was getting tired. Yeah, you could tell I hit some here. You probably can't see this, but you can tell it's a little, yeah, you ain't gonna be able to tell. It's got a little lip on it and it's bent a little bit, but you could sharpen that right out, no problem. But usually what I'll do is I'll just do this, throw it right in there, right? Well, that's not the best thing to do because it gets in there you get all the dirt and crap in there right so I haven't looked in here in a while but on the bottom of my box here's another chain this has got plenty of life on the teeth it's actually not a bad looking chain I don't know why I took this one off but anyways I'm sure there's a reason for it there's a lot of a lot of life left on this chain look at all this metal shavings on here look how dirty my hands just got um, so, you know, I've always thought to myself, there's got to be a better way to store your chains besides, you know, putting them back in those boxes. I can't stand those boxes. They're the <clears throat> flimsiest boxes, which notably they probably should be, you know, it's a cost that they don't have to have to store their chains or ship them and sell them. Um, so I've, I think I found the solution to that. Let me get this untangled first. Why am I struggling with this? Yeah, flip over already. Okay, well, that's going to stay there for now. Oh, look, another one. This has got good teeth on it, too. Eh, it's about half done. So... I've always, like I said, I've always thought to myself, how do I come up with a better way to store my chains or, or transport them, right? This thing is filthy. So, I think that's it. Okay. So, Yanmar, which everyone knows that <clears throat> they uh, sent me their wedges, but they actually, I didn't know this existed. So, this here is a chainsaw chain carrying case. I never thought this was a real thing, and it is, so take a look at her so it has many slots so you could put different size chains in there with the loops your sharpening tools your chain guides and so on so it's actually pretty nice like I don't know like I, I think I'm definitely gonna use this so I believe yeah these are 20 inches yeah so this is a 20 inch chain that'll fit all the way in this is a 25 for sure. Oh no, it's a 20. So that can go in there. Now, if you have a longer chain, a 25, I would assume you can overlap them in there. I kind of loop it again, which is fine. So I'll stick my files in there. I haven't decided if I want to keep like new chains in there too. I guess I could, because I'm always, I always try to run my chains to where there's nothing left. So yeah, these are all 20s. So here, let's take a 25. So this is a 25 inch chain. 
Okay. Clearly it's way longer. So let's just like back loop it once. I would think it should go in like that. So let's just see here. If we loop it like normal. Yeah, so you can get, look at that, no problem. A bigger, bigger chain than it's, if it's too long in there. A couple files, so you could probably get four, maybe five chains in there like so. Obviously you could have your smaller ones underneath those. You know, some of your, your files. Put all that in there, which is kind of nice. And then you just close it up and there you go. So I'm assuming everything's going to stay where it belongs. Oh yeah, nothing even moved. Perfect. So I'm actually going to use this. There's a lot of products that I've looked at. This I'll use because I don't always like throwing that stuff in here. At least here I know my chains are right here. All I got to do is grab them, you know, get them back here, sharpen them, and put brand new ones in there or whatever I, I choose to do. So I, I think that's going to work. I'm curious to see what you guys do. Do you guys just put them back in the box, which they're all the boxes I've ever got. I don't even care if it's Oregon, Steel, Husqvarna, or any of the, uh, the cheaper brands. They're all garbage. They just fall apart. You can't put them back in there. So, and, you know, like I said, I've done this for 10 plus years. I've just thrown them right in the box. And that's obviously not the best way to do it either. So... I think this is what I'm going to use and I think they're like 20 25 bucks for that for that much money and they're hard plastic like this it should last forever I mean you're just storing chains in there so I'm definitely going to use this on the, on the site put it in my truck that way I have that so I think that's going to work out great so yeah that's yard Mars chainsaw chain carrying case and as you've seen before those are their wedges which are really nice I've used those these actually work really well. They keep them in the tree. So I'm definitely going to use that when I'm on my job sites from now on. To keep my chains in there. So if I, down the road, you know, continue to make tree videos, you'll see that because I'll, I'll be, I'm sure, taking a, a chain off and repairing or putting a new one on and so on. So <clears throat> I'm going to bring it with me tomorrow. We got a, we got a smaller tree job to do. And I know my chain that's on my 500i is pretty, it's pretty bad. I mean, I've got the teeth down to pretty much nothing. I'm going to hand file it one more time and that'll be it. So I'm assuming it, it should get me through the day. If not, I'll throw on another one that I've sharpened and there we go. So, um, you know, cause chains ain't cheap. So I'd rather sharpen them to practically there's nothing left. Cause that's where usually when they cut the best anyways is when you keep filing them down so like the chain that i have on there i've i've got pretty aggressive on the raker so because the teeth are so small and it, it cuts actually really good so maybe i'll bring uh maybe i'll do some recording tomorrow i don't know got a little bit of sketchy stuff to do taking down a box aisle there next to some really nice birch trees that they don't want any damage they're growing like all in, the, in each other so it's not a hard job just kind of don't have to break any of the other trees so yeah, I just kind of wanted to show you guys this. It's uh, it's a phenomenal product. It's made well. I think it should it should do me well, because that's that was my biggest thing. Like I have pretty much all my new chains in here for like my inventory wise. Some of the used ones, like this guy here, for my top handled saws, my old bars, and and so on. But but I think this is going to come in handy for me. You know, so if I ever get any. You know, new employees would be like, hey, go grab my chainsaw chain case. Well, it's pretty obvious what that is versus them just digging through all the, you know, all the boxes on the trucks and this and that. They know where that is. So pretty easy. Uh, keeps them separated from everything else. So I, I think that's going to be very nice. Curious if you guys, what do you guys do? Do you just kind of throw them in a box like I do? I mean, that's, like I said, I've done that for forever and <clears throat> I, I get sick and tired of it. So not only that, everything else that I, that's in the box, whether, you know, tools, scrunches, and so on. They just get filthy. All, like I said, I pulled that one out, and it's just full of, you probably can't see that, all that fine metal dust from sharpening. 
which you know you do that you put your hands on your face at least now it's in the box and it's not in there so but yeah that's just kind of wanted to bring that to you guys I, I think that'd be anyone who you know cuts for a living or doing firewood yeah you're always got chains and this and that and, you know and i feel like that's a good good way to store your chains or transport them that's pretty nice because those boxes you know they get busted around i can't tell you how many times i've gone into that box and the box that the chain's in there's nothing in it and it's just laying around in the box and and it gets dirty from being in the box and sometimes it's hard to tell if it was even used or not you know so not that that's a big deal but you know, gotta do is look at the chain but uh, to me that's going to be huge that, that's going to be a big game changer so pretty excited about it i mean something so small it's going to make my life a little bit easier so but yeah that's pretty much all i got for you guys today i just wanted to show you that it's it's a product i'm going to use so but yeah as always keep burning